Feel good. Look good. Mm. Excuse me. You caught me eating chocolate. You know what they say? You are what you eat. Do you know what that means? I'm a chocolate bar or maybe a bag of chips. That's not good. That's not good. Let's face it. We all like a little bit of sweets. We like a piece of chocolate, maybe a donut, a cookie. In moderation, that's okay. We can have those things. But what's the problem? There's a lot of sugar. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be uncomfortable. When I eat too much sugar in snacks, I feel clogged up, like stuffed up, almost like the pipes in our sinks. They, they just get clogged up with gunk. And that's what sugar does in our body. It doesn't let our body operate the way it was intended to be happy and healthy. We get uncomfortable. It makes us tired. Do your friends ask you to do something after you've eaten all that junk? And what do you say? I don't feel like doing it. I'm tired. Do you ever wonder why you're tired? Sugar does that. So let's learn together about how we can control the portions of our food. In moderation, we can enjoy our snacks too. Does that sound good? Come on. Let's start with a rainbow plate. You know what a rainbow plate is? It's making sure that our plate has all the beautiful, vibrant colors in the sky, the red, yellow, orange, purple, blue, to make sure that we make healthy choices and include a lot of vegetables and fruits, a lot of variety to make sure we get a lot of nutrients. And the, the key to that is green leafy vegetables keep us healthy and they give us a lot of energy. The citrus fruits like the oranges and lemons, they boost our immunity so we don't get sick. And the starchy vegetables like sweet potatoes, they provide us with a, a filling and a, so we feel full. We could even sprinkle cinnamon on top. And berries like blueberries are antioxidants. They fight off diseases. And when we can't get certain vegetables and fruits in season, we can always buy them in the frozen section. I challenge you to make your dinner plate and your lunches look beautiful, full of color and nutrients. Can you use all these delicious items to make your own recipes? Let's go over some portion controls. And at the very end, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. I have a, a delicious snack that you can make and it's really easy, just as a treat for following your healthy nutrition guidelines. So now let's discuss our portions. When we're talking about fruit, you should have about as much as this baseball. That would be one cup, one cup of fruit with all your meals. That's a nice size portion, wouldn't you say? And as far as meat, we have to have about this much, which is three ounces. So you're going to have a nice, decent amount of protein from your meat. As far as pasta goes, a half a cup. It's not an awful lot, my friends, and I know I'm an Italian, we eat our pasta, but that's the right portion of pasta. The idea is you're to mix up the meal with fruits and vegetables. So that leads me to vegetables. How much of vegetables do we have? About the size of this large light bulb. That's a lot. So a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables and protein and limited on pasta. When we talk about fish, it should be about this size. See how it is in relation to my hand? And that would be about three ounces of fish. What about pancakes when you go to breakfast? If you go to IHOP, no, you can't have an eight or 10 stack of pancakes. That's not healthy. You need about one this size. That's a four inch compact disc is the size of your pancake. Then you could have protein along with it and fresh fruit. So you get the idea. And when it comes to snacks like ice cream, the size of two golf balls. That's how much friends we can have. And that's a really decent amount of ice cream. And what else do we have here? When we're talking cheese, a lot of us snack on cheese, it should be no more than these four dice. Do you see that? That's about one and a half ounces of cheese, four dice. Thank you. Here's that special snack I was telling you about. We're gonna have a, a nutritious frozen chocolate banana treat. You're gonna to need to get two bananas and peel them, cut them in half, and insert popsicle sticks in the middle. Then in a separate bowl, take about a handful of 
chocolate chips and you're going to melt them in the microwave until they're smooth. Then you're going to dip the bananas in the, the chocolate and you can sprinkle on top if you're not allergic nuts or you can put color sprinkles. Then place them into a clear sandwich bag and place them into the freezer for at least 30 minutes. And when you take it out, you're going to have a delicious treat, frozen chocolate covered bananas. Enjoy. Here's some tips to help you remember about portion control and what we learned. First of all, drink a lot of water before you eat. That helps to fill your belly and also is good for your body, your skin, and your overall health. Fill your plate with the vegetables first in that nice size we talked about. Use your palm or a small bowl to measure out each of your food items, your protein, your pasta, your vegetable, and your fruit. Avoid eating in plastic Tupperware containers for dinner. Um, it just so you can see what you're doing. Put a third of your meal away from your plate so that when you feel like you're still hungry, you can go back and get something that you already measured out. Make sure you measure the correct amount of carbs against protein. Protein, you need a little bit more. Use the same bowls and plates. And the most important thing to remember is eat slowly. It can take up to 20 minutes for your belly and your brain to work together to tell you you're full. So that's why when you eat quickly, you're eating too much. Give your body a chance to realize it's getting full. And remember, if you have time, make single packets of food in little sandwich bags, the little clear bags, and you can put your snacks in them just so you know exactly the quantity of food you're eating. Feel good, look good, starting now. Feel good, look good, starting now.